the, the, the bee hive. Yeah, they either. You know, two queens. They, right they either didn't like where they were or they were too crowded and decided to break off and let the other group raise another queen. This time of the year, though, absconding from a bad hive is a pretty common thing. You say it is a pretty common thing? Yeah, it is. I'd like to welcome you back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. This is a good little group of bees. It's probably about four pounds worth. That's a good, that's a good catch. Three, three to four pounds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just enough. Back them up. If you go from the top up, that's not going to disturb what you're saying, Now I'm going to go from the bottom up. If I start at the top, it'll make them fall. Oh, okay. Then that's stir them up. Yeah. Yeah, they don't bother me now. Y'all got a tree, y'all got a bee tree out here, you think? I didn't know they told when I got here, they were like, don't go out there. I just, I I know you probably can't see much out here. That's the everything bee vac. I got every last bee, probably took me about 10 minutes. And I know you probably can't see what's going on in the trees, but we're on the outer bands of Hurricane Barry, Tropical Storm Barry now, I think. I think it's downgraded. But I keep getting people asking me, is that vac really worth it? I'm out here at nearly midnight, outside of a hospital, trying not to make a lot of noise. Don't want to drag extension cords, generators, all that kind of stuff, and I'm not anywhere near a plug-in. Facility's locked down. That's as loud as she gets. I ain't bothering nobody. All the bees are gone. All the residents and employees are safe. And I'm out, and I'm just as happy as I can be. 40, that was swarm number 40, in case you were wondering. I'm out here on a very rainy day transferring nukes out of wooden uh, wooden boxes into into this easy nuke for transport got somebody picking up two of these transporting them for uh, their uncle or father-in-law or somebody anyway what I wanted to do is show how bees draw on foundation somebody asked me Matter of fact, several people asked me over the past few days, how do you get bees to draw on foundation? I can't get them to do anything. And I said, put another layer of wax on. And somebody specifically asked about Italian bees, which is what these are. So if you look, these these foundations were recoated, And you can see on the center where the coating overlapped, 
they're drawing that out faster and heavier than the rest of it. They are drawing it. But the best part they're drawing is where the wax is a little thicker. So if you're having trouble getting them to draw them foundations, especially brand new foundations that you just pulled out of the box, put another layer of wax on it and feed them up because they won't draw wax if they don't have anything to eat. So here's another, this is a 10 frame. I'm gonna pull a five frame out of this, make another nuke, and those two will be going on the road tomorrow morning. And one of these frames, this one right here, got a little bit of brood on it, a little bit of honey on it. I'm about to shake these bees off back into this box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this to anchor that 40th swarm capture to their own nuke box. I got a, a four brand new frames plus this one, and this one right here will pretty well hold them to it. Not that they would go anywhere if I locked them up, but it's storming for the next few days. I don't want to be out here fooling with them. So I'll stick this in there, give them something to, to make it feel like home. That's what I shook off the bottom of the little screen lid there. This is the rest of them waiting to come out. Another little trick, this box right here is the ones that I just pulled that nuke out of to go in that easy nuke. So less than five minutes ago, that had an established colony in it. It's still got a scent of a colony in it. So they're much more likely to take that box than to one that I maybe grabbed out of a supply stack that had been sitting for a few months empty. Just went ahead and dumped them because I didn't have time for them to walk all in. I got to go. Now the question I've been getting is, is the Everything BVAC worth the money? So is the Everything BVAC worth it? Is it worth the money? I'll tell you a story about last night. Last night was that 40th swarm catch. And that was in a lockdown mental health facility that you couldn't just drag a bunch of equipment through. It was... 11 o'clock when I got there and they run 24 hours a day so I knew somebody would come to the door uh, security came to the door and let me in I walked through saw what they had I went back to the truck and got the everything BVAC which I was able to carry through this secured lockdown facility in one hand not dragging extension cords went out the back and collected a pretty sizable swarm off of a picnic bench and about 15 minutes in high wind I had every bee I don't think I left a single bee then after I had all the bees collected I was able to carry the whole rig bees and all back through the facility now this is a hospital mind you so you don't want to be carrying a bunch of bees through a hospital where you could potentially get somebody stung and you know you'd be I don't recommend doing this for anybody with any kind of vac but I did it last night. Anyway, I was able to carry it all the way through the facility, stop at the front desk, talk to them about billing, and get out of there that quick, that easy. Now, I could have collected the swarm just as quickly with any other vac, but my other vacs are much louder. I would have been looking for a place to plug in. I don't think there was any exterior uh, power sources there. I didn't see any anyway. You know, middle of the night, which is not typical. Most people are not going to be in the middle of the night out collecting swarms. But it was quick, quiet, easy. And that's just the way those vacs are. And I've I've done, battery life is another thing keep, people keep asking me about. I've done three small removals on a single charge. And I've done, God, I, don't even, I don't even know how many swarm catches on a single charge. And then still leave it in the truck running to keep air flowing on the bees. Uh, if you're pricing your jobs right, paying for a BVAC should not be an issue for anybody. And uh, if you're doing it for free, it's just going to make it easier for you. Much more convenient to carry something around that's that can sit in the seat next to you. The whole thing, hoses, everything, really light, charges not super quick, but it's it's not slow. And it'll run for a long, long time. So, yeah, 
my opinion, that everything BVAC is worth every penny, and I'll be I'll continue to use them. I'll put the link in the description below, and you can go grab one or check them out, and uh, let Tony know where you saw them. You're welcome. 